Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video we're going to update the Express LRS module within our MT12 radio. Now to do this we're going to need a USB-C cable, we're going to need to know what our home network SSID is and what the, our home network password is so that we can go ahead and do this. So first off, we are going to update it using the cable. The, the, the reason we do this is we want to get the, um, all our Wi-Fi details onto the radio so that it can later on connect, connect wirelessly. Now this can be done in a slightly different way where we um, uh, look at the, the Wi-Fi, we turn on the Wi-Fi on the radio and then we search it on our computer and we disconnect from our home network. But I'm going to show you this way because I, I feel this is the easier way to, to set this up. You will also need a binding phrase. Now this is like a password. This allows our radio and receiver to connect to each other without another radio express LRS module connecting to it. So you're going to need to come up with that password that you want to, to use and you will also need to download the latest Lua script. Now a Lua script, because you're probably a beginner if you're watching this, is a little program that runs on our radios, the Express LRS radios. And this allows you to access the module so that you can make adjustments to it, turn the power down, put dynamic power on. I won't go into what they, obviously the power level is obvious, uh, but I won't go into all of that now. So let's switch over to the computer and I will show you how to do this. Now let's launch the Express LRS configurator, which I'm going to leave a link to in the description below to where you can go and get the configurator files. So you can install it on your computer. Right, so we can see, we can look at the releases and 3.31. Now this may have changed when you update your your, your radio, your MT12, but whatever is the latest one, go for the, the, the latest one. And you can read the re, uh, release notes to see what they've changed. Now, the category we're going to choose is going to be Radio, radio Master 2.4 gigahertz, and then the device, and we're going to select our MT12, which I probably, there it is. So it's the internal module. Now, we are going to do this via pass-through. This means we're going to plug a USB-C cable into the radio, into the MT12, and then plug it into the computer. Later on, we'd be able to do it by Wi-Fi, but we need to put some settings onto the radio first. So what we will now do is we're going to go down, and you can see I've got my binding phrase, and you can't see it because I've hidden it. So you should put a, a binding phrase, which is a bit like a password, um, into there that you want. And then you would have to then flash this to your receiver as well, and then it will only bind to your radio. Now I'm going to select a Wi-Fi. So this is your Wi-Fi address at home, and then I'll put my Wi-Fi password in. You can leave this at the value of 60. So now we've done that, I'm going to plug, I'm going to turn the radio on. And I've, I've plugged the USB-C into the top port of the radio. I'm going to plug it into our computer. And on the screen, I'll show you the, up in the corner, we're going to pick serial, USB serial VCP. Now, you can hear the computer detected it. So we're going to click on the arrow and it's going to be this COM3. That's the one I need to flash. Now, as I said, the first time we do this, we're going to do it via cable and we're putting all the Wi-Fi settings on. Later, we'll be able to do it by connecting to the Wi-Fi of our, our network in our, in our home. Now, we're going to flash. Okay, this can take some time. but I'm going to leave it the full version so you can see. So if you're doing this for the first time, if you're new to this, you'll understand it can take some time to build the firmware. Okay, there it is. It's done. It's as simple as that. So now we can download the Lua script. So I'm going to click download. 
and it's going to put it into my downloads. I'm going to overwrite this one, so I'm going to say save. It should be the same one, but let's just play it safe. So now we've been, we'll be able to put that onto the radio. So I'm going to go out of here now. Okay, now let's go to downloads. There we go, there's the Lewis script. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to pull this down here. I'm going to unplug the radio. And then I'm going to plug it back in because now we need to change what mode the radio is in. And I'm going to go to the top of the radio and I'm going to, to this time, select storage. And I'm going to click. And you should see a drive come up here. Now this Lua script we need to update is we're going to copy this. And we're going to go into scripts on the radio. So this is the radio's USB drive. We're going to go into tools. And you'll see there's the original one. So we're going to just right click and paste it. And we're going to say replace. Now the radio has the latest Lewis script and the latest firmware for the Express LRS module. Now let me show you how to put your radio into Wi-Fi mode. We're going to hit the system button and you can see there's the Express LRS Lewis script there. Click enter. Now we just need to scroll down till we get to Wi-Fi connectivity, click and then say enable Wi-Fi. And that's it now. Now the uh, radio should be connecting to my network. Now let's do the firmware update using our home network so we're not plugging the radio into the computer. So we're going to click on here. I'm going to go back and there it goes. It's already found it. You can see. So we're going to select that. It already came up, so it's put the details in there. And I know that's the correct IP address. I've just checked that for the MT12. So we do exactly the same. We'll get the latest version. We will trick uh, our device category would be ReadyMaster 2.4 gigahertz, then the MT12. We're now going to click flash by Wi-Fi, flash over Wi-Fi. And then we make sure we've got a binding phrase, and then we've got a home network and a home network password. And if I click click uh, flash now, this will do this over the uh, automatically over our network. The radio is not connected to my laptop, only to my network, which is, makes it very, very convenient. We just need to wait for that warning to disappear. And there we go, all done. Now we've updated our Express LRS module within our MT12, we need to update the receivers. Now I'm going to put a link in the description below to a video that will show you how to do this. It's the same for all types of Express LRS receivers. And if you click on that link and go to 4 minutes and 50 seconds, it will show you how to update the firmware on the receivers. I hope you find this video useful and if you did give it a thumbs up and if you didn't give it a thumbs down. Now if you have any problems and you need assistance, please don't hesitate to put a comment in the description below this video and I will try to assist you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Thank you.